Mr. Oka, what brings to you the difficulty in this factory and to all this prison in Moto? What brings you the difficulty yeah. in this factory yeah. and to all this prison in Moto? The case of uh, um, Grigory Petrenko and, and the other political prisoners here. Um, I, I'm as well a member of the Bundestag and a member of the Parliamentary Assembly of Council of Europe. And uh, I worked for five or six years together with uh, Grigory Petrenko. And then I got the information that he was arrested uh, here. And um, so I made a some appeal or I asked uh, why and it was an issue in Strasbourg in, in the um, Parliamentary Assembly and as well in Brussels in the European Parliament and I want to have an own, um, uh, own view on this and I wanted to visit him and now I'm here in the prison, uh, at the prison and I just came out and uh, just have spoken with, with him. Uh, what do you think? Are the claims to Grigory Petrenko from the authority of the state well grounded? Well, all what I know, um, it seems to me a political case and that uh, the allegations uh, against uh, Petrenko are um, cons constructed, uh, not real. Uh, and it seems to me that he is one of the um, initiators of the um, uh, big demonstrations against uh, corruption uh, and uh, so all what I know um, it seems uh, that uh, he's, uh, he is not uh, um, guilty and his, his allegations are, are not real and he should be liberated and should be free. And we've come from the European Union and from Moldova do you intend to discuss about the political prisoners? Well, there was uh, two days ago, there was a debate in, in Brussels in the European Parliament about the general situation of uh, Moldova, because uh, Moldova is a so-called country of um, Eastern partnership of European Union. There is this association uh, uh, agreement and during that debate in the European Parliament, um, uh, the case of uh, the political prisoners and especially uh, Grigory Petrenko was several times mentioned. So I think uh, there's now growing attendance uh, in, in Europe about this case and uh, I hope this will help uh, uh, the political prisoners here as well. How is that going with the situation uh, he is um, he is okay. He is personally uh, uh, he is he is uh, in good condition. Uh, he said that um, <coughs> uh, in the first uh, uh, two months he had to make his walks in a room where, where um, tuberculosis ill people walked as well. So this is very very strange. And when he made an appeal on this, it was changed. Uh, and as well, um, <coughs> he was alone in his, uh, um, uh, in his cell uh, uh, until yesterday. And he said probably because I <laughs> came now, uh, since yesterday he has a, a second uh, somebody to speak to, which is much better. Uh, and, uh, but personally he is uh, okay and he is in, in good mind.